Okay, welcome back to you into the new brand new Python and uh, AWS Boto 3 series. Here I'm going to cover you use of the Elastic IP addresses in Amazon EC2 instances. So Elastic IP address is a static IP address designed for the dynamic cloud computing. This Elastic IP address is associated with your AWS account and it is a public IP address which is reachable from the internet. If your instance does not have a public IP address, you can associate an Elastic IP address with your instance to enable communication with the internet. So we can import the Boto3 library and then we can create a EC2 instance uh, client from the EC2 instances. So you can write there the EC2 is equal to the Boto3.client and the EC2. So let us first describe uh, uh, what is the EC2. So it will just print the object uh, address, EC2 object address because of that the EC2 is just an object okay of a client go to three client so I, I, I'm gonna here print uh, apply a filter so the filter uh, I would like to take uh, only the name of uh, elastic IP address and then the domain uh, name is the just a domain and the values so the values would be the VPC right so it would uh, detect the name uh, which would be the domain and the values in the form of VPC right okay great so now uh, i would like to describe those addresses which i have i, I have applied into the filter so ec2 dot describe underscore addresses right so here the filter supply this filter filter is equal to the filters and now print the response okay so here you can see there is no address, it's a zero address and uh, if we see the response metadata, HTTP access code coming to the 200, that means uh, it has successfully connected with the AWS and if we see into the elastic IP addresses, there were a zero elastic IP address, that's why uh, the null output was coming in the, uh, into the addresses. Now first of all that we need to allocate. Uh, new elastic IP address. So we can do it's a very simple allocation is equal to ec2 dot allocate underscore address right and domain is equal to the VPC. Right. So let's print the response a new uh, uh, response of a new elastic IP address which we created. You can do it using a associate address command. So you can write response is equal to ec2 dot associate underscore address. So in the address now we need to give their allocation ID, right? Allocation ID and we also need instance ID which uh, we'll need to give that, right? So it's a allocation ID is equal to the allocation. However, I'm gonna have to leave it as a blank as of now, and I'll see what the result, uh, what result would come after executing this command. Right. So the instance ID would be. You can see there from the here. If we see the instance ID, right. So we can copy this instance ID from here directly, or we can access from the command line itself. Right, so let's copy this instance ID. Okay. So one more thing I would like to show you here, you can see the elastic IP address. So this elastic IP address is allocated already. So as you, uh, I have shown you, this uh, uh, allocation was done uh, in the previous uh, uh, command line right so I'm getting some error I would like to see what is the error what type of error I'm getting so it's uh, telling that uh, there is a key error how you were uh, I think I have copied it very carefully so the error must not uh, come but somehow this error is coming so I would like to see the allocation. So here is the allocation, the public IP, 
and then the VPC and the allocation ID so I think I have given the same allocation ID but let me copy it from here itself right so let's copy and paste it here so let's see if, I, if uh, it can run somehow I made some mistakes there I am unable to find out that mistake yeah great so we don't need that allocation perfect now let's print the response see here so I have printed this response now I have associated this you can see the associated uh, uh, ID so I have associated this elastic IP with my EC2 instance now you can see here my EC2 instance IP address has been changed to the same which is elastic IP address right so the 13.126.220.10 right so let's see the response is equal to ec2 dot release i addresses so i would like to here delete elastic ip address or you can say it's a release so after releasing an ip address it is released to the ip address pool and might be unavailable to you after some time or even after uh, your release so so be sure to update your dns records and any servers or devices that communicate with that addresses right so uh, i would like to release with the allocation id let me copy that allocation id here paste it right so i don't need uh, uh, more than this so it will automatically release that elastic ip address now if you see the response so you can see there right so it says that uh, http status code 200 that's when it has uh, successfully released uh, ip address so here if you see the elastic ip address is zero now so thank you so much for watching this one and stay tuned for the next one in the next one i would be covering more tutorial related to the python and aws bot 3 sdk tools so subscribe this channel also so that you can directly get update into your inbox. Thanks.